Well, everyone, welcome to another episode of Burner Nates. We've got an ice fishing video for you here. So we're up in northern Wisconsin chasing some action pike today. Our goal is to get some pike on the ice, some for the pickling jar, play some up, and uh, maybe we'll get uh, some bigger ones mixed in just uh, for some more entertainment. So today started off on the cold side, about 10 below, warming up nicely, just like the action so far, it seems like. So as we're setting, we've got flags popping, but uh, we've got a pretty decent sized group. We've got uh, Shelly, Jake's fiance, and then Jake, and then Alex, and my girlfriend who's behind the camera right now. So uh, let's keep setting, and uh, we'll kind of show you a little bit more of our setup as we go here. First one for me. There we go. The action pike are here. I've been here for two minutes or less and there's been three flags. <laughs> fish on. Action Pike <laughs> and he's all wrapped up. All right another one for the day. Let's see if we can keep track. No trophy but tastes good. Get more like that. It's a good one. Well, the flags are rolling, and we're having a good time. But uh, as far as a little bit more detail with what we're working here, so basic weed structure. Shallow weeds is kind of our our go-to with pike, and we've got a nice lake here that's got good weed base to it. And um, I would say, you know, where we're setting these, about a foot or two below the ice. Yeah, we're fishing about eight feet. That's about what it seemed. I didn't even check the depth. I just kind of looked at the line with the depth of the finder and we just set up from there. Sure. Bait, what we're using is uh, we got a mix of medium and large shiners. So that's uh, kind of our go to with pike. And you've got iFish Pros and regular tip ups all set up here for pike. A little bit heavier test uh, as far as your leaders and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's working out. Some of them we do have tips with. Uh, you got some of those spinner blades on them. Yeah. So you'll see some of them coming up once in a while. But um, that's as, as far as our setup. It's kind of pretty basic when we're fishing for pike. I mean, it's easy. Find find weeds. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we're just on the you know outside of the thickest stuff. But um, yeah, foot, foot or two bowl of the ice works well for us. Gets the flags going. So we're gonna keep rolling here.
Oh yeah. I was wrong. He wasn't even doing nothing. No. Dude, did you see how fast I was running? <laughs> yeah. I felt like, I don't know what I felt like. Still got her, Al. Yeah. Bite's still going. Slowed down seems like a little bit midday here. But um, nothing, nothing crazy big for size, but we're definitely putting some fish on the ice. Turn back on. Yep. You can see our setup here for, this is Jake ties his own leaders for these iFish Pros and then for the tip ups. So you got about a foot, foot and a half of fluorocarbon, 20 pound fluorocarbon there. And then uh, got some beads and a, a spinner blade there just for a little bit of flash in the water. And then we got the large or medium shiner not sure which one's working better today, but either way, they're both pulling fish in, so we'll take it. I actually thought it was a lot bigger than what it was. Hopefully the line got caught on the edge of the ice. You kind of biffed that one. Dude, I stepped on a hole. <laughs> For real? It was like a mound I stepped on. <laughs> oh. I don't know if that was on video. Yeah, it definitely felt bigger. I don't know if it was cut into the ice, the line. Good run. Really go. good. Little guy. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Well, add another one. Yeah. I don't know, we got a tally up here because uh, it's been a good day so far. It seems like the bite's picking up. We just got quite a few in a row here. Yeah. iFish Pro, regular tip ups. Got it's working. Three in a row, I think. Yeah, that's sure. nice. Gets the blood flowing again. <laughs> Started to get a little cool, but uh, wind picked back up. Fish are biting. Let's hope it continues. Another double. Oh yeah, wait. Yep, 
fechar. Né? Uh, pretty good headshakes, hey? Looks like a pretty nice fish. Oh, yeah, it's decent. Oh, yeah. Thought it was bigger, but take it. Racking them up today. That's what we came for. And we had a double flag, but it looks like nothing over on Jake's, so. Got a few lulls here and there, breaks in the, ac in the action, but it's been a fun time. That's a good one. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a Sweet. nice fish. Get her unhooked, huh? Yep. Well, looks like the last uh, fish of the night. We're packing up here and finished on a nice one. Looks like it. Yeah. Nice work. Thank you. All right, guys, that is a wrap on another Burn and Eights ice fishing trip. And I would say it was a successful day. I mean, we had a action-packed day we came out here for action pike nothing trophy nothing real big but had some quality fish mixed in there and we got some action pike some stuff for the freezer so we had a good time total caught we let some go kept some was 25 pike we had well over 50 flags that's a good day mm -hmm. that was fun oh, yeah. Yeah. so that's why we come out here winter time we like to restock the freezer and have some fun entertainment on the ice so thanks for watching we appreciate it we'll see you on the next one